Hi, we're at the Thyroid Cancer Survivors Association Conference. I'm here with Dr. Yuri Nikiforov. Dr. Nikiforov, thank you for being with us today. My pleasure. I'm going to ask you some questions about your work and uh, very much appreciate your time and your expertise. Sure. So can you tell us about yourself and the work that you do? Uh, I am currently work at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, uh, running a research and clinical program associated with studying mechanisms of thyroid cancer, genetic mechanisms of thyroid cancer. Originally, I am from Belarus, and actually I went through medical training during the type of Chernobyl accident when a lot of kids develop thyroid cancer after Chernobyl, and this actually sort of influenced my decision to go and, and dedicate my career studying thyroid cancer. So if someone's wondering, do I have thyroid cancer, can you talk about the current genetic testing capabilities and how those can help bring greater clarity to the diagnosis? Sure. Well, in general, I want to say that genetic science making a very big impact. Actually, we call it genetic revolution currently in medicine, including uh, taking care of patients with thyroid cancer. Because currently, you know, we have a very, very powerful machines, instruments that allow us to sequence very large parts of human genome. And this help us, first of all, understand scientifically how cancer develops, but most importantly, to uh, apply more uh, individualized management to, taking care, to take care of patients with thyroid cancer. If you are talking about genetics of thyroid cancer, a lot of advances has occurred, and we now understand most of genetic markers, most of genes that affect development of thyroid cancer. And therefore, in those situations when we have patient presented with thyroid nodule, and uh, based on microscopic analysis, which is a traditional current sort of gold dust analysis, we cannot say if this nodule is benign or malignant, we can defer to molecular genetic testing that in most situations help us to arrive to the correct diagnosis. So if, for example, I have a thyroid nodule and I have the fine needle aspiration, which is the biopsy of the nodule, if it comes back indeterminate, is that where genetic testing comes in or no? Is That's correct. This is exactly the situation okay. when genetic uh, analysis is mostly needed. There are some less common scenarios. I mean, but if you're talking in general about the vast majority of genetic applications to thyroid nodules and cancer, that's is exactly the situation when patient presents with a thyroid nodule that is indeterminate by cytology, by any other sort of diagnostic modalities. And what we have, and we have currently actually several molecular tests that can be applied for uh, to, 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 to provide a more accurate diagnosis of cancer in these nodules. They are somewhat different. They, they use different type of genetic markers, but eventually all of these tests have one sort of aim, which is to distinguish benign from malignant when we talk about thyroid nodules. I see. So again, if I have a nodule and I'm going in for the biopsy, is there anything in particular that I should be asking my doctor? Is there a specific test I should be asking for? Yes, I mean, I want to say that this is still a relatively recent uh, development in the, in the field of, 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 of thyroidology. And not all physicians are currently using molecular testing. Many, and I can tell you that every three to six months we have more and more people, sort of more and more physicians developing familiarity with molecular testing, but some of them may not be aware that such, such testing is available. And, and definitely for patients you know, coming to see their phys physicians with thyroid nodule, nodules, they should keep this in mind, and in case if the, the biopsy come back is indeterminate, to discuss with the, with the treating physicians the possibility of performing molecular testing to arrive to correct the to, to most correct diagnosis in the nodules. Excellent. It's great to know that these tools are out there. Is there anything else that um, someone with thyroid nodules should know or be asking their physician? Well, I would say that um, also even in those situations when patients are diagnosed with thyroid cancer. So diagnosis is not a question. I mean, fortunately, it's a, it's a minority of, of, of patients, but, but still we are talking about a significant number of those. Actually, some of the molecular tools, some of the molecular tests that we have, not only establish a diagnosis of cancer, but actually can also predict how aggressive cancer may be. And this actually 
can help to offer the most appropriate surgical approach to, to, to specific clinical situations. For example, if patient is diagnosed with cancer, but this cancer based on genetic signature is actually relatively indolent, there is a genetic signature of indolent cancer. So only partial removal of thyroid gland may be sufficient to cure this patient. Patient doesn't have to lose both lobes of the thyroid. And in opposite, when molecular signature is that of more aggressive cancer, surgeon may, may perform broader surgery, remove the entire thyroid, even lymph nodes. But that's what we are talking about, more individualized, personalized approach to managing this patient, because not all of them need the same surgical extent, because we know that some cancers are more aggressive and have a high chance to, to, uh, to, to, to affect the patient health, and some are very indolent and just will be cured by simple removal. That's very exciting to know. I know many of us who have had our thyroid taken out wish we could have kept at least part of it, right? So it sounds like some of this work that you're doing in the research is helping lead toward more uh, targeted approaches to the surgery and the treatment. So that's very yes. exciting. In general, we are talking uh, we are about personalized medicine. Right. It's very exciting also for me to see that over the last several years, we have been able to develop pr approaches that will allow us to uh, apply more personalized management of personalized medicine to patients with thyroid nodules and cancer. So if I have thyroid cancer, is it important for my whole family to get tested or do a genetic test to find out if it's familial or hereditary? That's a very, that's a very good, a very important question. The answer is it depends on what type of cancer certain patients have because there is a clear knowledge that certain type of thyroid cancer, such as medullary carcinoma, they are frequently have uh, hereditary uh, nature and therefore can, uh, can be uh, uh, expressed as a familial disease. For those patients, the genetic uh, testing is really critical. For most of other type of thyroid cancer, they are very rarely present with the familial, in the familial pattern. So for those, uh, testing of relatives would be of much less, if any, importance. Great, thank you.